Hi friends, we'll solve problem on motion with variable acceleration. Just see what is given in problem. Acceleration of a particle moving along a straight line is given by A equal to 1 minus x by 70 where A is in meters per second square and x is in meters. Particle starts from rest find its maximum velocity. Now to solve this problem, acceleration is given as a function of x means function of position. Therefore, A will substitute in terms of x. Now, A in terms of x substitution is what? A equal to A in terms of x. A in terms of t is a div by dt. A in terms of x when you have to substitute a is equal to v dv by ds which is equal to same equation of acceleration if we we'll write here 1 minus x upon 70. Now using this substitution we will integrate this equation and we will find out equation of velocity in terms of position because what is asking problem find its maximum velocity that means Equation of acceleration is known. What is required here? Equation of velocity. That one will find out substituting A as V dv by ds and integrating this one. Now, if we we'll integrate, what we will get here? V dv divided by ds. ds means small displacement, may be written as ds, may be written as dx. Therefore, as your term is given as x, I will substitute ds as dx. 1 minus x by 70 into dx. Now, if we we'll integrate it, so limit of integration you can say from 0 to v. When velocity is 0, position is 0, it is given in problem, particle starts from rest. What it represents? Initially, when t is 0, x is 0 means position is 0 and velocity is also 0 because particle starts from rest. Therefore, if we we'll integrate this equation, integral of v dv equal to integral of 1 minus x by 70 dx. Integral of v dv is v square by 2 equal to, this one is 1 dx, that means integral is x minus this is 1 divided by 70 and integral of x is what x square by 2 plus we will get constant of integration. Say constant of integration is C1. So to find out this constant of integration, we will use a boundary condition and what boundary condition is given in problem is a particle starts from rest. As particle starts from rest, that means can you say at, at t equal to 0, x is 0 and it starts from rest. That means velocity is 0, v is 0. If we we'll substitute this x and v in our equation of velocity and position, first term what we will get on left side is v square by 2, velocity is 0, that means LHS is 0. On right hand side, it is x means 0 minus x square by 70 that means this one also becomes 0 plus c1 that means constant of integration becomes 0 here as constant of integration is 0 again we will write now equation of velocity in terms of position where equation of velocity what we derived after integration is v square upon 2 equal to x minus x square divided by 70 into 2 that means what 1 4 0 plus 0 this one say equation number 2 equation number 2 now as we are getting relation between velocity and position initially what equation is available is equation of acceleration in terms of x that one also will write here which one is already given in problem a equal to 1 minus x divided by 70. This is given in problem. See, this is equation number 1. Now, using these two equation, easily solution is possible. 
what is asking problem find maximum velocity to find a maximum velocity condition for v maximum if we use mathematics condition from mathematics for anything to be maximum its a differentiation with respect to variable must be zero that means for v max dv by dt differentiation of this velocity with respect to variable time must be equal to zero therefore dv by dt is nothing but acceleration acceleration must be zero as acceleration is zero using this one you will get condition ki at what position we will get maximum velocity equation of acceleration is available from equation a if we substitute acceleration as 0 equal to 1 minus x divided by 70 using this one 1 minus x by 70 equal to 0 you will get some value of x which represents what at this position x acceleration becomes 0 that means at this position acceleration is 0 velocity becomes maximum it's simple x becomes what here x equal to is nothing but what simply 1 equal to x by 70 that means x equal to what 70 meters now we'll substitute this x equal to 70 meter in equation number 2 so that this velocity what will get becomes what maximum velocity using equation number 2 if i'll substitute here x as 70 meters left hand side is written as instead of v v maximum divided by square equal to x is 70 minus 70 again we'll substitute it square divided by 140 that means v max final what we'll get here if we're using calculator if we'll find out this one this comes out to be 8.36 meters per second square this is your final answer that means to find out this maximum velocity we have to use one condition for anything to be maximum its a differentiation with respect to variable must be zero or v to be maximum its a differentiation with respect to variable means time t means what acceleration is zero equating acceleration to zero what will get position same position if you substitute in equation of velocity what will get here maximum velocity of particle thank you